What's going on guys? Today we'll be looking at the newest Grand Blue Fantasy character and not be by new. It's Vera, a new one. Oh my god, it's wind. That means that Vera is one step away from becoming the next avatar in Grand Blue. All she needs to do is attain the fire element and then we may see Vera's true powers come together. Which is kind of crazy that one unit can be and every element very soon, but if it's gonna be anyone, it will definitely end up being Vera. Now, this unit is very controversial because she's un underwhelming, I guess the a word I would use for her, underwhelming, and people are, you know, it's, her, it's their waifu and they want their waifu to be strong, so. But she does have a couple little good things going for her. Let's talk about her. Her specialty weapon is a harp and melee. Harp is really, really good actually because it goes, it coincides with the best unit in the element being Neo. It was just a harp user. So it's, it's pretty good. I, I would actually say that's really good for her because at least you'll have some synergy when it comes to running an Ultima Harp. If any mad lad will ever make one, <laughs> you, you must be mad to be making an Ultima Harp for, the, for that, but hey. If you like Vera enough, do it. Next, we have Melee, which is really good as well. It also goes with Monkey, who is also Melee. So, you know, she goes well with the two best units in the element currently, and that's very, very good. Now, her Ogi uh, activates Nitro Force, which is not that bad. With this Ogi, she activates it every time. Do note that it does not reset the cooldown of Nitro Force. So if you have activated it, it will not reset the cooldown, which is really good. So it pretty much giving her a lot of uptime with her buffs from Nitro Force. We'll talk more about Nitro Force when we get to it though. But just know that it does activate it every time, which is not bad at all. Plan B, now this is the controversial skill. This skill has the same effect as Freezy. If you know her, she has the ability to kill herself after a, a couple of turns due to her ability. This has the same effect, but this one I think it's a little bit better because it does not remove your party. Vera stays in the fight with the rest of your team. That's the only big difference between these two skills, between those two characters. Do note though that um, it does gain a, uh, you gain a stat boost and a skill damage boost with upon using the skill. And at the, after attacking, you do gain an uh, additional wind damage to foes with the AOE. So it's okay. I don't think it's that good. You're mainly gonna be using the skill if you know that you're about to end the fight in five turns or if you need to bring out a unit in the back row into your front row. I don't know what situation is that gonna be right now. Currently, it's not really meta, but maybe in the future, it may be more viable. But right now, it's not that great. Do know it cannot be removed though. So if you were thinking to use the skill and hoping it will get dispelled, well, that's not happening. Her next skill is Primal Wave. This skill is actually very underwhelming. It, it's an AOE skill, which is not bad. It hits the defense down, which is not bad. And a Petrify effect. This could have been a really good skill, but there's one thing really holding it back, and it's a local debuff skill. So because of that, it's just very underwhelming. You're not really using her to apply defense down. And the Petrify is so short, where you're not really, like, it, it is not good enough. I would have must have preferred it be like Twilight Terror than Petrify, something similar to Olivia, but it's Petrify and it is not it's not good enough. It's not it's not that tier. Do note though when plan B is in effect, you do gain a uh, boost to hit to defense. So you have a better chance of hitting that. I don't know why it doesn't apply to Petrify as well, but whatever. And for Vera's last skill and her best skill, Nitro Force. This is a single target nuke and it gives Vera 
guaranteed multi-attack. This is actually a very good skill. You do note though that if you have plan B, you gain bonus wind damage as well whenever you cast it. So it's not bad at all. It also has a very low cooldown being four turns with two turns uptime. Combining that with the fact that it comes out from your Ogi, pretty much you will have guaranteed double attacks at least on Vera for like the whole fight unless you get dispelled and then you won't have it. Dressed in Stars is her uh, support skill. As I mentioned with her plan B, she gains sharp boost to stats, boost to skill damage, and additional wind damage to all foes after attacks. I don't know why they have it in her support skill when it's already in... Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And her very last support skill is v, v Field. I thought it was the V Shield, but it's V Field. V Field and it's Shield effect to Vera at the start turn. It's okay. It's nothing amazing though. Just the shield. It's a weak one too at, at that. Now the best part about Vera is that she has very decent EMPs. I would recommend investing into all the critical hit, CA damage, wind attack, and skill damage cap. I don't recommend double attack because of nitro force. You're not really gaining anything out of that. And debuff success rate. If you're using her as a debuffer, which I don't recommend, you can invest into the skill, but nine times out of 10, you're not really using her for her debuffs. So keep that in mind. Hopefully she performs better while we use her in a fight. But right now, looking at her kit, it's not really that amazing. But let's get to a fight with her right now. So I decided to take on the event boss because I felt that was the best place to showcase her off. Now, one cool thing about Vera, I don't think I mentioned this, but she is Harp and Fist. So she has really good specialty weapons to go with the current meta and wind, which is now really Staff and Staff and Melee. And Harp, because Neo is like probably the, the best character in wind. So she does have good weapon proof. So it's not end of the world, even though she's not a ultra overpowered unit herself uh that's fine oh the boss wow i resist is uh petrified that's, that's pretty uh that's pretty cute uh, i guess that's the thing all right uh, it's dying really. I, all I did was auto it. Why is it almost dead? This thing has no health. The poor, the poor boss has no health. I feel kind of bad. I forgot to use um monkey skill too. Sometimes I forget for the extra bonus damage. I feel. I actually like her Ogi. Um Vera's new Ogi. It's not it's not bad. It means that I like the outfit a lot though. She got a lightsaber? You know, I've never fought this boss before. Oh whoa, she's the paralyzed my, my unit. What? That that rude. <laughs> yeah, I haven't fought this boss yet, so I I like I've done the event, but I kind of like auto the boss. I don't know what it does. It died in one turn because it was the um the ex one. I I don't, I don't know what's called in this game anymore. I forgot. I don't think it would kill in five turns though. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on using a Vera scale one. Uh, we use this. So yeah, you can see right there, Nitro Force is actually, it hits a lot, like, it, you're pretty much going to have it up all the time, unless the boss is dispelling you. That's the one thing about Vera, is that she's not, like, immune to dispel, so, that's a thing. If she was immune to dispel, I think she'd be a, a much better unit, though. Like, right there, you can see? 
If you get hit with a spell, it just kills the unit. Now that, that wasn't a full dispel, it only cleared like a couple debuffs, but still, you can see it right there in effect where it could be a problem. Though, there's also a benefit. I don't I don't believe plan B is immune to dispel. So if you activate plan B and you know that the boss is going to dispel you, you're not going to die. You only die after plan B has been in effect for five turns. So that can also be a good thing. Because he will not die. I think we can activate plan B now. A value out of that. If we can activate Bahamut. Yeah, the, if you ha I don't have a Ultima in this pool right now, cause then I don't have an Ultima for Harp or a Staff or anything. Oh, I have a Staff one, but not a Harp one. That's why I like you can get a little bit more skill damage out of Vera Skill One, which is pretty okay. If you combine it with everything, oh, you can't even coma the boss. What the hell? All right, I guess that's a thing. Overall, it's not that bad. That's a lot of bonus damage. To be honest, on Vera right there, that was like that was like really good damage. Hey, maybe she's not as bad as I thought. Hello, oh, JK, she's bad. <laughs> I, I'm trying to justify that she's not that bad, right? Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> but I believe she got bonus damage from... Uh, she hasn't taken any damage yet, so she has it from Monkey, I believe. No, she does not have it from Monkey. That was just all her inherent bonus damage, which is okay. See, 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 I wish she was better, bro. I'll be honest. I wish she was better. It's like, it's not like she's like an awful unit. Like she's unusable. She's usable. No, don't get me wrong. But I wish she was overpowered. <laughs> That's what I want. I want my Vera to be strong. Breaks the game. We don't, we don't got that. Feels kind of bad, man. Feels kind of bad. But thank you guys for watching. I'm call this a video. I'll see you guys next time and peace out, bro.